Welcome guys to another episode in Idle Games TV and we're gonna check out Battle Knight Cyberpunk an idle RPG over here on the channel I have played it for a couple of days and honestly it's quite interesting let's hope that you're gonna enjoy it so let's jump into it basically you're gonna have campaign modes you're gonna get offline rewards I mean obviously I mean that's why it's an idle game TV and over here that's why it's an idle game TV sorry for that and over here you're gonna have the formation so let's talk a bit about the formation so as you can see you're gonna have up to six heroes so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna have two in the front basically those are gonna be your tanks your warriors over there and you're gonna have four in the back although that you can see that this kind of formation is basically in two lines as you can see the way they are put on the field basically you have two lines definitely the ones in the front are gonna take the most damage that they can take and afterwards they're gonna die that's not the problem you will not have stars for this uh, basically mission so you just need to pass the level and that's gonna be easy depending on the level of your heroes so you're gonna have different kind of types of heroes warriors spirits assassins quite quite interesting things that you can find in this game it has a decent and nice graphic honestly it's quite quite a good game i didn't saw this kind of uh, let's say graphics to this idle rpg games for quite a while so definitely this is a game that you definitely need to try at least if you didn't have the opportunity to do it until now please give it a shot guys it's quite interesting let's go over here for the formation so as you can see i do have some heroes that i have summoned but you're gonna have the possibility also to have some friends that you can collect different kind of things from them and also do some summons and so on we're not gonna go for that as i mentioned so you're gonna have mission chapters you're gonna have daily quests obviously like in all idle rpg games you're gonna have different kind of rewards by staying in the game and so on and you're gonna go over here in the main thing so basically these are the docks this is where you're gonna be able to do different kind of things so let's go over here in the police department and as you can see i have different kind of missions different kind of tasks that i need to complete in order for me to get different kind of things like in all other rpgs the same thing okay so over here in the garage basically you're gonna dismantle your equipment depending on the rarity and so on you're gonna dismantle it and afterwards you're gonna be also able to forge awesome things that you can fight blueprints by playing the game so definitely give this game a try guys as i mentioned it's quite interesting and quite fun okay you're gonna have a guild that you can basically join and do different kind of fights in the guild so don't forget about that you're gonna have the basic arena that you have in all idle rpg games so you can fight every day basically your uh, pvp tickets will just restart every two hours if i'm not mistaken you're gonna get a ticket so you can join the pvp battles as much as you can depending on your power obviously you're gonna be able to go further and further so not that hard right here now as you can see i can skip this battle so we're not gonna watch this gameplay but definitely quite nice and quite interesting victory yes yes thank you okay so as you can see i can go further and further refresh and so on i'm not gonna stay into the pvp anymore okay beast club basically this is where you can do some summons so right now i do not have anything to let's say make 10 summons the green ones are the let's say the lowest ones so basically these are the common ones afterwards we're gonna have blue ones uh, basically rare ones afterwards we're gonna have purple ones that are epic and afterwards legendary let's go and do two summons over here let's see what i'm gonna get okay spirit okay quite good don't forget that what you do need to have is those purple heroes in order for you to progress even faster so if you're gonna have purple heroes in your team okay i do need a warrior yes i will level her up and you do need a hero in order for you you do need the sorry purple heroes in order for you to advance even faster due to the fact that those purple heroes are have sorry a different kind of uh, attributes that are better than the blue ones well that's obviously and most probably and definitely the yellow ones basically the legendary ones are even better so definitely try to get as much as you can from those 
and from what I saw from different kind of gameplays and different kind of videos on YouTube, definitely it's hard for you to basically start up your hero. So definitely that's quite hard. Okay, over here you're gonna have different kind of tests that you can compete every day in order for you to get different kind of rewards. Basically you're gonna battle depending on your formation and you're gonna be able to progress and so on. Not that hard. Basically the same things like in all other RPGs as I mentioned earlier. Uh, basically this is a futuristic something like an idle RPG game if you like the graphics definitely give this game a try if you have played it please drop a comment and let us know some tips and basically some guys that you can point us to regarding the fact that this is an awesome game so definitely if you didn't have the opportunity to play it until now as I mentioned please give it a try you're gonna be able to go in mines and this is quite interesting this is not something that you can find in every idol rpg but definitely a thing that you can definitely uh, let's say take advantage of okay at level 50 at level 40 i will be able to unlock new things but let's hope that you get the idea you're gonna have a roulette like come on in all idol rpgs the same things not the best of chances so definitely not the way to spend your gemstones wait for an event over there definitely go for that you're gonna have the gray market basically this is where you're gonna sell your heroes in order for you to get a different kind of uh, points and with those points you're gonna be able to get different kind of things like for example other heroes and so on not that hard oh let's go back over here and you're gonna have the evolving part so definitely this is gonna be really really awesome and right now as you can see i do not have every everything that i need but definitely i can collect some heroes over here I have two of those, okay, and I have five of this, only four. Ah, I was so close, man, so close, but you get the idea, definitely go for that, definitely try, and here it is, red ones, man, man, most probably these are more powerful. Okay, let's go back over here, and let me show you some heroes. What you can do with your heroes is you're gonna start them up, and basically by start, starting them up you're gonna obviously make them more stronger and so on not that hard but definitely watch out who you're gonna start up don't start up your uh, blue ones like i did okay i just tried to see how it goes basically you're just gonna consume your uh, 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 let's say attributes and it's not it's gonna be for nothing basically so don't consume uh, your stars up for the blue ones and most probably for the red ones i don't see a red one right now but definitely i did start a red one up so don't do that honestly okay gear up your heroes as fast as you can definitely they need more power in order for you to progress even faster so that's not that hard i can reset and basically restart the progress of one of my heroes this one i will be able to get the his gear off and I will go and basically sell him in order for me to upgrade my uh, purple one that you most probably saw. I will not consume them, not right now, due to the fact that I do need him in order for me to uh, start, other, uh, start other heroes. But let's go over here in order for me to uh, level up my new uh, heroes. Okay, so over here we're gonna go and level her up due to the fact that I can see that she's more awesome than the previous one so definitely I need her in front in order for me to take as much damage as I can in order for the ones in the back row to basically do more damage and so on definitely I will level her up due to the fact that she's purple so as I mentioned earlier definitely level up your purple heroes because these are the ones that are gonna do more damage to the other heroes and so on I'm gonna unequip these ones yes take the gear off and basically equip you and you over here let's hope that you are going to be more powerful than the previous ones no and you over here i'm still going to let you there due to the fact that i need you okay let's go and do the formation so no 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 i'm gonna put you you and i still need one over there in the back row so let's see who i'm gonna use mm, i'm gonna use her no buffs no you okay one more extra buff no we're gonna use him so don't forget to put the cam buffs over here different kind of things different kind of boosts that you will get definitely use those ones as well okay we're gonna go with this one and i do need to basically gear him up i forgot about him but as you can see right now let's see my team power 
okay 445 so definitely need to level up a bit my pink heroes over there but it's not that hard guys give this game a try if you will enjoy it please drop a comment and let us know in the comments below and as i mentioned earlier please let us know about basically your tips how further did you reach in this game and also also don't forget to drop some comments regarding the guides most probably you have something figured out over there so definitely give this game a try until next time take care don't forget to subscribe hit that like button bye